and I together. I don't know, are we? I don't know. You want to? On three? Why is just doing episode number two? Dose. We didn't practice. Maybe we should have practiced this before we started. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it. It's like, we got to come up with a cow intro, and it was going to become, because Terry liked it, I think. Oh, yeah. It was going to be. What? Hello. Hello. Oh, we're supposed to look at the camera. Hello. <laughs> this is In the Shop with Ben. And Glenn. You're supposed to say In the Shop with Ben, and then you go, I'm Ben. Oh, I'm Ben. That's Glenn. And I'm Glenn. <laughs> scripted. These are scripted episodes. Can't you see we have those things <clears throat> here? Teleprompters. Thank you. Mm -hmm. One of those things. Yep. Uh, Bi monthly. Uh, bi yearly. <laughs> I think our first episode was in August. August, yes, of it, this year. Mm -hmm. It is now November. They say you should never like give the exact date, but it is Tuesday. Election day. Election day. So we have not followed any of the elections. We voted. Voted. I don't have my sticker. I don't have my sticker either. I never get the sticker. Did my civic duty. Yes. So we voted. Yay! And now we're not going to pay attention. Yes. Until tomorrow. Until tomorrow. Uh, in the Shop with Ben and Glenn, episode number two. The first one we called the introduction. Oh, okay. What is this? The exposition. Is that what follows an introduction? Yeah, me either. That sounds good though. I'm, I'm gonna go with it. I married an English major. I'm not one. <laughs> they married a psychologist. <laughs> it's because you need one. I know. <laughs> she would say there's no help. Um, she might be right at some point. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, episode number two. Thank you. I think we had 28 views wow. of the first one. Thank you so much. We appreciate all three of you who watched it. Repeatedly. Repeatedly. Uh, greatly appreciated. Um, Four of those were my mom. Yeah, I know, but that's cool, isn't it? She got to see you on... On the TVs. On the TV screen. <laughs> um, but yeah, so not much has happened in the months since we last filmed. Well, not much has been made. No. A lot has happened. A lot has happened, and nothing's been made. I moved the tables that were here. They're out of camera. Over there. Over there. Um, and I cleaned up enough to have it make it look like we were actually getting something done here. It's a set. It's a stage. Yeah. This isn't really a shop. It's a sound stage. It's a sound stage. <laughs> and this is green. Yes. We're really in a green box. This is all an illusion. <sighs> Isn't that you too? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. None of this is real. It's all real. Nothing matters. Um, yeah, so what has happened? I mean, probably the thing that really tweaked everybody was another tornado in your life. Yes, we and did. Our we, life. Our collective lives. All yes. of our entire county was affected by several tornadoes. Uh, I was actually in the Boundary Waters when that happened. That was fun. Four days canoeing, paddling, and freezing cold temperatures. Off the grid. Off the grid. Loving life. Absolutely. It was beautiful. Uh, I came back when we left Grand Marais, got cell service, and our, our phones exploded. So all of our families were sending us messages four days prior. <laughs> Help! Uh, about all the tornadoes, and we have still been recovering from that. Yeah. My family farm is literally buried in trees. Uh, they don't have a single mature tree to escape the damage. No. Sad. Yes. However, However. when you have a chainsaw and a sawmill, <clears throat> all wood is good. All wood is good. <laughs> hey, no wood jokes. Okay. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> We lost a lot of big trees at our place, mm -hmm. so, and they, they didn't all come down, which is like, okay, mm -hmm. except for tops got broken out and things got stretched enough that uh, there's a bunch of widow makers down there. We'll be clearing those out, so 
have chainsaw well traveled. Um, yes. Shout out to Jed. Woo! Thanks, Jed. Who's Jed? I don't know. Jed's Jed? a friend. Um, Jed's a friend, so I helped somebody down near like Roberts Lake. Lake. Not like Zed. No, Zed's dead, baby. <laughs> no, not like Zed. <laughs> Whose motorcycle is this? <laughs> <laughs> no. Tangent. <laughs> You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any idea. Okay, um, but somebody, he knew somebody down by somebody over there, um, and we picked up some oak. I know you had some big oak. We have so much oak. But Jed was, thank you, um, about a four and a half foot round piece of red oak. Ooh. There's a little decay on one end, but I think and it's about, I got two pieces that are 12 feet long, so. We'll get that milled up this year, and we'll end up with some oak slabs that in six years from now we'll be able to do something with. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and see what we make out of that oak wood in six years. Hit that bell for the... Uh, and what does the, the bell do? It notifies you when yes. we post another video in six months. Yes. After you subscribe to the channel and go ding. Yep. Bell goes ding. Yeah, do that. Um, milling. So if you have... I was gonna say, if they have wood, wood, big wood, leave us a comment down below. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that really impacted. We finished, we, I, and everybody here finished the wedding season at the garden. That's why we were able to like breathe for two minutes and clean up this much space because uh, wedding season is done. Yay! It was crazy. Exciting, mm -hmm. crazy, crazy exciting. Um, exciting is good. Yep. But so what else? Though so there's things, Ben. It's gonna be kind of a clearinghouse here because we have like two months, three months of stuff to kind of catch up with. So yeah. Because we didn't actually build anything to show you how to build it and what to do with it, but there's cool things. Ben put up a video because he said he was gonna get back into vlogging, and oh, he did. Yep. He put one video. One up. video up. And, and it's actually very important. Because you started showing how to, he's like, Oh, I did. Uh, yeah, go, like, I know what I did now. Which, which video which, what was have that? I done? Which video was that? Uh, I've started tearing down a 021 steel chainsaw that Glenn gave me. Um, we are going to try and engine swap that with an 025. You know, there's no replacement or displacement. So, Let's write that down. <laughs> I did, on the back of my hand. <laughs> uh, um, send so, another t-shirt there by the way what's for the online store where you can get <laughs> all the wood jokes by us printed on your favorite cotton t-shirt uh, anyway so we're halfway through that rebuild and the cool thing was he showed you how to store parts so you wouldn't lose any parts. Uh -huh. I have some serious first-hand experience. I took apart a 1978 BMW and lost almost all of the parts. Uh, so now I don't make that mistake anymore. I put them all in little, little. well, no, I'm not going to tell you how I do it. you got to go watch the video. Watch we'll the video. Link it. And I think I'm going to try. I don't know who's uploading this one or I'll upload it because yeah. it'll be there. But I don't know who's going to edit this one, whoever edits it. But we're going to try to put a card. Cards go right up there. So it should go like, bing, watch Ben's video on storing parts. Right, yeah, here, over my hand. Oh, I think it's up there. Oh, cards are up there. Be up there. No, cards go up there. Oh, okay, cards. you have cards in that. All right. I think yep, you can fine. drop weird things all over the place, but I'm gonna try a card. All right, fine. Up there for that. So that happened, that's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. You got that video done. Yep. I did a couple landscaper know-how videos. That's mm -hmm. not that exciting. Yay. You moved to finial. Oh, yeah, that happened. That was... Did you see me almost tear up? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was pretty freaking cool. Um, it really was. The, the neatest part about that whole finial, which, watch the video, I'll put that link down below, because I'm not going to do two cards. One card is enough. Mm -hmm. um, that'll be in the link down there. But that was on the end of this building, so the shop is right here, and the old part of the shop is way, way down there. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing about that was, I have no idea what was up there, but um, it had patent, 
was patented in like May 6, 1919. And on the other side, um, Clower, I think is the name, from Dubuque, Iowa. Huh. And I'm like, God, I wonder if you can even get there. And I'm like, I asked the Google. Mm-hmm. And they're still in business. Really? They're doing gangbusters down there. They make the K brand style metal siding and you can still get the ball finials interesting i thought that was just like really cool That's i sent them the video but they didn't respond bummer yeah whatever i was thinking they'd like send me a new rough or something <laughs> you know and all i got was a non thank you <laughs> but it was still super cool thanks but no thanks and it's the new one is over on the dressing room over there so watch that video that's kind of cool mm-hmm. yep. um that was me that was pretty much it uh, I did a trip down to Taliesin and that was I love that place just that piano that piano mm-hmm. which one they're like 1910 Steinway yeah I think they're, there's like three there isn't there I don't know we wintered when I worked in Platteville we wintered it for them because mm-hmm. they don't heat it in the winter oh that must be the one from the other studio oh they just did a little thing down there um, and actually the Chancellor from Platteville was just at Taliesin. Hmm. The they forged some of the window things. Oh, uh-huh. really cool, cool idea. Interesting. So, anyways, yeah, maybe should we do a link to that now? No, find please, it. Please go look for it. <clears throat> Platteville. I gave three good years of my life to it. Yep, <laughs> and they gave right back. <laughs> um, you. He's not going to tell you this, so I'm going to tell you that. Oh. Started a whole nother little venture. I did. Yeah, which one? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> um, he started, is it After Dark? After Dusk. Dusk. After, I want it After Dark, but it's a party planner in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so After Dusk Event Photography uh, is a new, new gig that's happening. And then, uh, what's the other one? Well, there's more to that. There's you, more to that. You take pictures? I do. I take pictures. So after, I've been after dark. Dusk. Dusk. Because after dark is a, a party planner down in Australia. Or it's a different thing in <clears throat> Eastern Europe, but... I like my kidneys, thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I really like taking pictures of, of events, concerts, what have you. Uh, but being kind of long exposure and capturing the activity and motion of an event, not 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 just like freezing time, but capturing time happening. Very cool. Yeah. And he's got some cool stuff. Instagram. Yep. At After Dusk Event Photography, and After Dusk Event Photography dot com. You have the whole web page. I do too. have the whole web page. <laughs> whole kit and caboodle. You are like so. 2012, man. <laughs> Just like a MySpace. <laughs> oh, it might have been like 2000. You know what's amazing? <laughs> you know, I thought about this the other day um, on MySpace. You remember? Do you even remember MySpace? I definitely remember MySpace. I was 13 once. I know, but they came out and they like shared some old photos. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. And they just caught holy. Yep. For like, oh, I can't believe you shared old photos. Mm-hmm. Facebook does it every day. I know that! And it's like, mm, why get sued? You know, why? I don't know. Bad mouth of Zuckerberg. Yeah. It, <laughs> we're the only one. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, no, but yeah, they like memories and they do it every day and everyone's like, oh, this is so great. Yeah. We've, we've been friends, friends for. And then nobody tells months. Like, yeah, we've been, we've been 12 for friends for 12 months and we're going to share all of your past photos. Yep. Even though you shared that thing five years ago that all of my photos are my photos and you can't do anything. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, whatever. Welcome to the World Wide Web. Um, that the other thing is, which is kind of cool, you don't even really call it what I do, what do I do, what do I do? Um, I don't know. I do a lot of things. I know. Co-hosting? Oh, that's right. I suppose I'll give Gordon a shout out. Yeah. So I started uh, co-hosting uh, a podcast with my buddy Gordon, who runs the Rules of the Arena, um, which right now is an athletic apparel company. He supports uh, athletes, mostly um, power lifters, heavyweight lifters, uh, and has he himself 
competed in a in an amateur strongman competition over the summer, and he sponsored another individual, Mike Congdon. Con, Condon, Condon. Mm, sorry, Mike. Um, to go to two two shows or two competitions this year as well, and we have small businesses, small business owners, on the podcast. And just talk about them and usually also uh, sample some delicious homebrew while we're having said podcasts. Yes. Pretty so, cool stuff. Mm-hmm. And again, there yep. is a Instagram page. There is an Instagram page. It is the Arena Outpost uh, for that. And then we record those podcasts at the Blind Ninja Studios in River Falls, Wisconsin. So you should check those guys out as well. Yes. They have some interesting things. I think our like description or something is gonna have like seventy five links, mm-hmm. but those are worth looking at. They're fun. They're a lot of fun. Um, hey, guess what? We have an unofficial, official beer sponsor for tonight. Oh, do we? In that, fact, you want to disclose why they're our unofficial? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Or I mean, they are a business that resides in the city of which you are a mayor. <coughs> <laughs> You know, autocorrect always makes turns Dundas on my phone into thunder. <laughs> I have we been should been rename the town. Thunder. 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 Uh. I have spent a lot of time in Thunder. Thunder. <laughs> Some of which has been in a fine uh, establishment. establishment of craft beer. <gasps> Just like that, our unofficial, official beer sponsor of episode two of the Ben and Glenn show, the Exposition. Exposition is Chapel Brewery in Dundas, Minnesota. And they too have a website and a Facebook page and an Instagram, so maybe we'll do that. Hey, what's in your chalice? It does say that on the can, doesn't it? Yes, it it does. This is, in fact, we may have enjoyed a can of Chapel Brewing. Citra Warrior India Pale Ale. Though I am partial partial to their nitro porter. Yeah. Or the oatmeal stout. That's yeah, that too. Right over there. Yep. So we're gonna wrap this up soon. I think so. Because there's a, did you are we gonna have to reshoot because your collar's not straight. Um uh, your collar? Did you do that on purpose? I just put my shirt on. What, it, what the collar does is up to the collar. He had a shirt on before this, so it's not like he just put a shirt on. That's true. I had a jacket on over the shirt. So he chose this flannel for tonight. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, before we leave, I think there's a thing we have to do. Is it that time? It is that time. <laughs> Spin a beer can. Spin a beer can. Is that one the empty one? I'll find out. I hope so. I put a hole in it. Well. Anyway, do we do it into that camera, that camera, or this camera? I think you can do it all the way around. Oh, hey, that's that light here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Woo, beer spinning. It wouldn't be an episode without beer spinning. Yes. Does it go fast? Official, official tool sponsor of the night, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Who, which I think we told the Milwaukee story last episode. Yes, we did. So, so. Milwaukee. <clears throat> this is not one of the ones that Milwaukee gave to me for my yes. wedding, but if you would like to unofficially, officially, officially sponsor and the an episode, you can send us beer. I'm imminent. I'm looking at you. Um, Bosch, because <laughs> we can also do unofficial official tool sponsors. Tool sponsors, so Bosch, if you want to kick in, or another Milwaukee. And we are, this is like letting the secret out, 
episode number 72. So we have time. We're going to be working on ways to test tools to show battery life and mm -hmm. give reviews, maybe not. But at our current pace, they won't even have rechargeable batteries. It'll just be like wireless. We'll finally have Tesla's wireless power transmission. I think so. And I'll be 60. And I'll be <laughs> crypto frozen. <laughs> you can just stand me up over here. 70 episodes later and two episodes in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think we're going to get two episodes next year? Uh, I don't feel like we can do more than that. And the last thing is I'm going to make something out of driftwood. So Stay the, tuned. Stay tuned. Cause It'll be a pony. No, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> Will not. <laughs> Don't make ponies. There is a really famous woman who makes pony sculptures out of driftwood. So it's been done. I'm just saying. I could copy, but no, I think I'm going to make a vertical element for the garden oh. called an obulisk. You're going to make a big pony thing out of wood. Vertical element. <laughs> In the garden. Okay. Uh huh. Out of driftwood. So, that'll be fun to watch. Stay tuned. <laughs> watch it grow. <laughs> At the gardens. Hey, I've heard that before. Well, I think that's it. <laughs> so it's November, so we'll get this one edited, wrapped up. I think we forgot to like say, hey, subscribe to the channel. Hey, we subscribe did to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Over there. Um, Hit that button the button bell ding. I think we did that once. Bing. Leave us a comment if there is a tool or a beer that you would like to see spin beer or beer sample be spun. Mm -hmm. Or consumed. Or consumed. We'll do that. And if there's, I don't know, leave us a comment. <laughs> that's a simple it. Um, that's it. I think that's it. Bye. So long. Oh, we forgot to have music, didn't we? Farewell. <laughs> <laughs>